we all know without a voltage source or without a current source we cannot imagine an electronic circuit right welcome to this video in this video i am going to discuss about ideal voltage source and ideal current source we will begin our discussion with ideal voltage source before getting into detail the first question is what is voltage source a voltage source is two terminal device that maintain a constant voltage but in practical life we cannot construct exactly a voltage source which can maintain a constant voltage the voltage will change with the change in the load resistance or current in the circuit therefore we first need to understand what is ideal voltage source and then we going to try that how we can make our practical voltage source much closer to the ideal voltage source an ideal voltage source maintain constant voltage independent of load resistance or the circuit in the current this is the simple circuit and here we have a supply voltage vs which has certain internal resistance rs we know every instrument can have its own internal resistance okay so here rs is the internal resistance of the voltage source which is supplying a voltage vs now this voltage source is connected to some load rl and the voltage across rl is v so as per the definition of ideal source v should be constant right and ideally it should be equals to vs and it should be always constant and it won't change with rl let's see what is happening in the circuit if you apply kvl then from kirchhoff's voltage law you can simply write vs is equals to i rs as i is the current in the circuit plus v and from here the output voltage v is equals to vs minus i r as the output voltage depending upon i right if load resistance will change as a result current in the circuit will change and thus output voltage will change so what we can say in practical life the output voltage will change with the change in current and with the change in the load so how we can make it close to the ideal one for the ideal case rs should be zero once rs will be zero in that case v will be equals to vs so if we change rl even in that case v will be always constant right this is the case for the ideal voltage source but in practical life we cannot make rs is equals to 0 so what we need to do we need to choose rs as small as possible or rs should be much much smaller than rl thus for an ideal voltage source internal resistance is 0 internal resistance of ideal voltage source is 0 if we want to draw the graph for the voltage source with the variation in the current in the circuit then for the ideal voltage source you will see a line parallel to the i axis and this line is representing that voltage is always constant and it is equals to vs but for the practical voltage source this voltage is getting smaller with the increase in the current okay now just move on to the ideal current source what is current source a current source is two terminal device that deliver a constant current but again same as the ideal voltage source in practical life we cannot have a current source which can maintain a constant current ideal current source deliver a constant current independent of load resistance so once we know how the ideal current source will behave then we try to make our practical current source as closer to that of ideal current source okay so this is just a simple circuit same as the previous one a voltage and a resistance and it is supplying a current i in the circuit okay so from this circuit we can simply write by using ohm's law the current in the circuit is vs upon vi plus rl what i want that the current should be always constant and it should be independent of rl that is the condition for ideal current source i am assuming that vs plus rs which is this configuration is supplying a current i in the circuit okay once we know the current in the circuit we can just simply write the output voltage v as rl times vs upon ri plus rl so if you assume that ri is much much greater than rl in that case we can neglect rl from the denominator and then we can write i is approximately equals to vs upon ri so in spite of change in rl the current in the circuit won't change 
okay voltage should be approximately equals to vl in times vs upon ri so even though output voltage is changing with rl but current in the circuit is not changing right so this is the condition for the ideal current source so what we can say internal resistance of ideal current source is infinite there is other way to look in this uh, ideal current source problem we can draw a circuit like this so we know that the internal resistance is in the parallel configuration so let's say this is my current source providing current is and having an internal resistance in parallel rs okay so as there is two path for the current one is going towards the rl which is the current through rl is i some amount of current is passing through rs which is equals to voltage drop across rs which is output voltage v divided by the resistance of branch rs okay so just by applying kirchhoff's current law at this point what we can write that i is equals to is minus v upon rs if you look at this expression it is very easy from here that if output voltage will change then current through load will change right this is the practical current source that is current is changing when we are changing the load or we are changing the voltage if you assume that rs is tending to infinity then this second term we can neglect it because v upon rs will be approximately zero and in that case i is approximately equals to is again we are getting same condition that is internal resistance of ideal current source is infinity okay if you draw the graph for ideal and practical current source then then with the change in the voltage for ideal current source the current will be always constant is and for the practical current source there is a decrease in the current okay so to summarize what i can say that internal resistance of ideal voltage source is zero internal resistance of ideal current source is infinity okay and there are various important questions come from this topic what is ideal current source what is ideal voltage source write down the difference between ideal current source and ideal voltage source and so on okay how we can achieve in the practical life we cannot exactly get the ideal voltage source or ideal current source then what we have to do in the case of ideal current source the internal resistance should be much much greater than the load resistance and in the case of ideal voltage source internal resistance should be much much less than the load resistance so hope this explanation is clear to you see you in the next video there i will going to discuss about thevenin and norton theorem okay see you thank you